Meet Nikita Busaria, a second engineer on Icon of the Seas. Icon is Royal Caribbean's newest and most innovative ship. Like Makita, thousands of excited crew members are ready to begin an incredible adventure as part of the startup team introducing Icon to the world. Join us for Follow Me and Icon to see what crew life is like on board and experience our crew neighborhood through the eyes of our amazing crew. Hi everybody, uh, all preparations are done. I'm ready to join the Icon of the Seas. Yesterday I finished all my online check-in and uh, now I'm in the airport waiting for my flights with a final destination in Helsinki. Uh, and after we have to go to Turk City to join Icon and uh, it's not my first vessel and I'm working at sea already for almost 10 years but is my first new building and such a new building, new building and I feel excited. Let's see how it's gonna be. Uh, ICON is going to do a seven day cruise on the Western Eastern Caribbean and uh, we are all excited to move on board. Are you excited as me? So I'm in Helsinki airport, as usually the travel drivers are a little bit uh, exhausted, but now I'm waiting for my luggage and uh, I think it's two hours more of travel and I, I'm gonna be already on board of the Icon. Uh, most probably I'm, go I'm gonna meet now the first crew who are gonna work with me on board and uh, it's new friends, new emotions, let's see how it's gonna be. The most exciting thing is to see how the Icon is uh, from cold, dark and uh, black steel box is growing to world class uh, luxury vessel. So it's a Saturday in Turku and uh, we are going to the yard and usually we spend our Saturday to with my colleague engineers to get more familiar with the uh, new machinery on board as uh, Icon is the first vessel in this class. We are we will have some challenges with the new systems, and we are to get better familiar. We are preparing presentation and we are sharing all information what began during the week, and uh, it's helping a lot. The engineers from the yard they have a very very good explanation, presentation, train materials to get us familiar with this new system. Mikita, just tell me a little bit about the team. How many um, are you guys in country right now? How many nationalities are you? Oh, we have around seven, seven nationalities from different sides of the world, from Asia, from Europe, from the West part. Great. And um, how many engineers are you in the country right now? We are currently, we are, it's six of us, six of us and we are, expecting more to come uh, because we are uh, we, we have now different trainings for different machinery so we need to be sure that all engineers will be familiar with the with the new equipment new stuff on board are your colleagues from other vessels are they asking lots of questions are they excited for you being here on icon yeah yeah they're asking how it's going I'll tell us more tell us how, what, how it's going what they are doing every day because it's it's a completely different compared with what our routine on the other vessel when we are in normal operation. So we are on the way to main gate. We have to pass a security checkpoint. It's a, it's a yard is a high risk area and uh, all of us has a C pass, pass car, not C pass, C pass is on board. As a part of engine team here, I'm performing here the piping and machinery 
inspection and uh, one of our top priority question now is to be sure that the icon is ready for the first crew move on board uh, for the moment we are also performing some of the tests for the lng pipings and let's go i'll show you Uh, now we are in the control room. It's a bit busy now because we are performing some very important testing for LNG system. And uh, as a watchkeeping engineer, I'm going to spend here most of my time. All these monitors here is now dark, but soon uh, it will be alive and it will help us to see all necessary parameters, temperature, pressure, whatever of the technical side of the analysis. As a many marine engineers, I started from a small uh, cargo vessel and uh, I have all the time the dream to work for something bigger to improve myself. And uh, like this, I start working for the Royal. And uh, I started from the one of the oldest and smallest vessel in the company. And now I am part of the startup team of uh, Icon of the Seas. I started my college, maritime college after uh, nine years of the school and I get first my, as a watch keeper, uh, license and uh, after this I, I I worked as a cadet and in the same moment I was continuing education in academy to get a second engineer license. Guess where we are? Is a crew and jammer, one of the most important places on board where we can take our lunch, brunch, take a coffee and of course to meet new people and maybe to hear some new gossips on board. Now you see that it's going to, the last preparation is ongoing and uh, soon we will be ready to, to feed the crew on board. Uh, here you can see we have a huge coffee machines, but as a second engineer on the watch we have some tweak, some benefit that we have our own coffee machine. As so work on board is a bit stressful, you need to be fit and uh, usually I'm trying to release all my stress in the gym and uh, that is our gym. It still smells fresh. <laughs> and Nikita, how many times a week would you say that you work out while you're on board? At least three times per week I'm trying. I'm trying to follow this schedule because it's really helping for you to keep, uh, to keep fit. Great. Um, and do you feel that uh, when you're working out, it's also good for your mental well-being as well? Yes, yes, it's also it's like kind of a releasing of the stress, you know. So now we are on deck two and uh, we call it 995. Try to guess why exactly, because you can go from forward all the way up and uh, be mindful about the trolleys. It's a huge traffic here. I'm going to show you one of the beautiful spaces on the, for, for me as engineer here is engine room. As you can see, there's a lot of jobs that are ongoing and we are performing the test for the engines and all other machinery in engine room. It's our beautiful engine. Totally, we have six of them on board and it's more than enough to cover all consumption. Icon is going to be the biggest vessel in the world and for me it's already it's amazing, it's interesting because I never worked before on such a big vessel and the second thing, 
for me personally as part of engine team as an engineer second engineer which keeper is interesting because the icon is the first vessel in the class and the first vessel with the lng system uh, i never worked on such system but as a company regulation and uh, class regulation i passed a lot of trainings and safety trainings related related to this equipment and i'm sure i'm sure i will manage it so uh, i i just came from the meeting where the executive committee format that uh, icon is ready to move on board and uh, i'm slowly getting ready you can see it's a little bit mess here and uh, they told us that it's safe the vessel is ready and we are lucky that we tried today our first meal there and uh, it's amazing from uh, one side it's a little bit sad that uh, soon we will leave this beautiful city turku but from the other side we are all excited to move on board and the crew is waiting for this moment